It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Moon Dog Craft Brewery and it's a can of In The Crumble, The Mighty Crumble. It's an apple crumble dessert sour coming in at 5.8% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. Look at that. I uh, really like the look at that. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Look at the smoke on the can opening. Oh, what a nice little, well, can't be rude, can we? A nice little bubble. <laughs> Have a listen to this. Love the sound of a sour. And it hisses and violently hisses and fizzes at you. Smells good from here, smells really good. Uh, this beer was sent by the lovely Mick in Australia. What a cracking guy. Um, sent me an awful lot of beer from Australia. Beers that we would never ever dream of getting our hands on here in the UK. Um, and it's great, it's great to show off these beers to the world. Nice levels of carbonation. As you would expect from a sour, everything's in order here with this sour. Everything's orderly, everything's in, in, doing the, the things it should be doing, the head's dissipated quickly. Sours do that. Nice bits of carbonation going on in the glass. It's a darker sour, I, I must admit. Uh, it's an amber coloured sour. Uh, maybe they're, they're looking for the darker malts to maybe give a bit of a toffee flavour coming through. Apple, toffee, 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 apple. That's the one. <laughs> um, maybe they're looking for that effect. I wouldn't blame the brewery for looking for that. Um, yeah. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it smells like... Um, straight off the cuff. The first thing that came into my mind was... Um, a white chocolate stout. You know, there was a fad of brewing white stouts, white chocolate stouts. It had a... Yeah, most definitely. A definite dessertiness about it. But a white chocolate stout. And of course, it's not meant to be that at all. But then if you dig deeper, you think about it a little bit more. Um, I like to give my first reaction, what first comes in my head when I give the aroma of a beer, and it was white chocolate stout, but when you dig past that, when you, when you kind of analyse the beer with your nostrils, yeah, there's a lot of apple, a lot of malt, like a green, a rosy green apple. Mmm, smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, really sour, really sour. That's exactly, that's exactly what they wanted this beer to do. Just a big punch of sourness pushing through on the palate there, destroying my palate. But it, it, at the same time, there's a, a level of sweetness in there. Toffee, I'm still getting white chocolate. I don't know why, but I'm still getting white chocolate in this beer. I don't read descriptions on the cans before I go into the beer review. I like to go into the beer review blind. So when we get to read the can in a bit, in a moment, maybe we'll find out why I'm getting a bit of white chocolate. But very dessert-like. Oh, really sour. It's, it's, it's doing the the sourness on the beer is terrific. I really like that. I really like sour beers in general. Um, I like the fact with the sour beer you can do stuff like apple crumble sours because it would just work, wouldn't it? It really would work.
toffee apple. Toffee apple, biscuit, breadiness coming from the malt. I mean, I, I, I'm going to go with my initial thinking on the beer in that they've used a darker malt here. A more toffee like, it's, it's more than likely going to pull kind of sweet, biscuity, nutty, toffee like flavours from the malt. They've used that particular malt to, of course, apple crumble, <coughs> toffee apple. It's going to work on the mind, isn't it? It really is going to work on the mind. It's going to work on the flavour. Carbonation hisses and fizzes, pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. Just terrific stuff. Absolutely terrific. And the fruit flies really love it here in the height of summer too. 5.8% ABV. Brewed at Moondog Brewing Company. Uh, they're from Abbotsford. Victoria, Australia, and it's described like this. This dessert sour has a strong stewed apple flavour, tasty cinnamon and vanilla notes, and a nice tartness to boot. I, I, you know, and I've, I've always admitted this, I always miss vanilla. No idea why, no idea why, but I, uh, if you put a vanilla beer under my nose it must be a it must be a defect in my palate or or it must be something in my brain that won't let me pick up vanilla unless I read the can if I read the can it's like a light bulb it's like all that kind of like toffiness coming through that kind of dessertness I was talking about that dessert flavor it's vanilla it's vanilla and cinnamon another one of those flavors that that I kind of struggle with a little bit. Um, and a nice tartness to boot. A weem away, a weem away, a weem away, a weem away. A weem away, a weem away. I think this is that song, isn't it? In the jungle. Yeah, of course, in the jungle, the mighty jungle. Um, right, let's rate it. Cheers, Mick. I like that. I like that. The vanilla is clever. Picked it up at the end. Um, no, there's not a lot I can do with my palate. If, it, if my palate struggles with vanilla, my palate struggles with vanilla. The best thing I can do is kind of describe what I'm tasting, which is a dessert flavour, and kind of explain to you what I'm getting. But I was getting white chocolate. It's a bit, bit wild, a bit out there, wasn't it? Uh, there we have it. It does have vanilla, it does have cinnamon. <laughs> Rating, Moondog. In the crumble, the mighty crumble. I like that enough to give it, yeah, it's a solid 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.